Karis Investment, where investments are made simple. Guys, today I want to thank you for your time as usual. Now, we're looking at Lordstown. Um, it's been a crazy morning. Um, not sure if you guys are familiar with Lordstown Motors. Um, these guys are an EV company. Um, I made a few videos um, in the last few months. Um, I'm still holding my shares, um, not selling. Now, the great news of the day, we can see that Lordstown have some very exciting news. Well, it's it's exciting and it's not exciting at the same time. Now, if you take a look at the stock right now, um, well, we can see that the stock is up just over 11% for the day. Um, it is doing extremely well in, in terms of where it's coming from in the last month, but it's still down about 63, maybe 60% um, for the year to date. If we take a look, um, we can see from February high, we're sitting up um, just around $30 per share. Now, we saw a few dips in December, um, but obviously, we're looking from at least February. We're coming from that $30 per share, and we can see where the stock is right now. So, um, and, and the year to date is still sitting just around um, around 60% or so. Um, the main reason, obviously, for the news this morning, we got news, um, not we, but it was announced that Foxconn is um, is um, is interested in the uh, the manufacturing uh, like facility um, that Large Stone Motors own. This is the same uh, like facility that was owned um, by General Motors, and this facility was just sitting idle. And these guys, I th if I'm not mistaken, was purchased back in 2019 when the hype was. Um, um, uh, was starting to get excited. Now, Lordstown basically right now is considering to sell um, um, this facility. Now, one, is this a good news for you guys um, if you do own the stock? Now, it, it could be a good news in a sense that if we understood the reason why the price of Lordstown is down um, since February is because of the meeting what they had um, that said, that they're kind of low in cash. I believe the last meeting said um, they had just over, I think, 600 million um, initially um, to push uh, like forward. That's what they have on the balance sheet. And then in the last communication, they're sitting just around 300, I believe, and, and 60 or 380 million. So in terms of the truck that they need to bring out, now we do know that they need... Um, more cash in hand, uh, like per se. If we take a look back uh, with Fisker, um, a Fisker came out with a news that says, hey, we have a billion dollar on our balance sheet. So it looks more attractive to investors, obviously, because you understand that it, they will be burning a lot of cash and they do have um, the cash to see the projects um, through. Now, the main reason why Large Stone was getting a hard time is because investors start to worry, hey, um, do they have money to finish these um, these trucks, right? So this is why the news with Foxconn is kind of exciting and it's kind of concerning. Now, if you're an investor and if you're thinking, okay, if they sell the facility, then it may be uh, beneficial if they'll get the cash. But if so, how much cash will they sell the facility for? And B, um, going forward is these trucks will be outsourced. Right? So that's a question that you have to ask yourself. If you're that type of investor, then you can delay and wait. But I'm still holding my shares. I'm not selling yet until I know um, for certain if it would be a sale or to see what the numbers looks like. So if you guys are wondering, um, as usual, I tell you guys, if any movement, if I, if I plan to sell or buy more shares, I'll let you know. This is exciting. I will actually pick up some shares because I see it, it kind of dropped down right now in the $8.14. We see... It was up of 8.93 in the morning, so it's still an exciting time. So, guys, as usual, like, share, and comment, and let me know what you think. Um, if you're holding shares or if you are if you have sold or if you're going to buy more. But, yeah, let's get it. So, until next time, guys, protect your capital and make sure you do some research before you purchase any shares. Now, if you're subscribed, I appreciate you. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe.